Episode 67, The King of NG. Unexpected Discovery. After a two-day break, Ningxi resurrected in full force and returned to the film set to continue working. She checked the schedule for the next few days and found that her main scenes were already done. Most of what remained was to reshoot scenes with Jia Qingqing. Since she knew those scenes like the back of her hand, there was no pressure. When she arrived at the set, it wasn't her turn for scenes yet. Xiao Tao welcomed her, says she, you're here. I was just about to text you, telling you that you didn't need to come so early. Ningxi raised an eyebrow, joking, what's going on? Is the director being so good that he wants to give me a day off? No, no. Look over there. Xiao Tao whispered, gesturing towards the front where Guan Xiaoqi and Fang Ye were filming, it's Guan Xiaoqi again. They've had countless NGs in one scene. It was terrifying with Jia Qingqing back then. Guan Xiaoqi. Ningxi pondered while propping up her chin. Yeah, she's the newly promoted singer our company is pushing. Her singing is terrible, but she has money. The money she invested is like flowing water. Initially, she insisted on acting, but the company evaluated her basic skills and found her acting and singing to be scary. So, they persuaded her to become a singer. At least, singers can use auto-tune in post-production. But what happened was, after investing so much money, she only did a few months as a singer, said she didn't want to do it anymore, and insisted on acting. So now, she's causing trouble in the entertainment industry again. After gossiping, Xiao Tao nervously reminded Ning Shi, although we're in the same company, it's better to stay away from someone like her. Ning Shi nodded slightly, showing a thoughtful expression. Actually, when she was in the apartment last time, even though it might not have been intentional, Guan Xiaoqi did help her once. However, before thoroughly understanding a person, she wouldn't act recklessly. Knowing this situation, Ning Shi didn't leave early. Instead, she sat down on a chair. Since she had quite a few scenes with Guan Xiaoqi, it was necessary to assess Guan Xiaoqi's skill in advance. Not far away, the shooting of Guan Xiaoqi and Fang Ye's scene was still ongoing. Guan Xiaoqi played the antagonist, Consort Xian, against Fang Ye's character, Virtuous Consort. The two were constantly at odds, and they had quite a few scenes together. Ningxi took a distant look and, from what she saw, it was clear that Guan Xiaoqi was the one having issues. On the other hand, Guo Qixing, who was by her side, seemed like he was on the verge of collapsing. Guan Xiaoqi. You're the favored concubine. Favored concubine. You need to be alluring. Charming. Your movements shouldn't be like a wooden stake. Also, your lines. Our drama doesn't use dubbing. It's all live sound recording, and your lines are as flat as reading a book. How can that work? Expression. Where's your expression? Xiao Tao handed a pack of melon seeds to Ning Shi, says she, now you've seen it. I'm not exaggerating, right? Her acting is really bad. Ah, you and director Jiang are cooperating so well, and everyone thought we could finish shooting ahead of schedule. Who would have thought that Guan Xiaoqi suddenly appeared? She's truly the king of NGs. Ning Shi remained silent. Objectively speaking, this wasn't a matter of good or bad acting. Because Guan Xiaoqi simply didn't have acting skills, she was a blank slate. In such a situation, the person acting opposite her was crucial. What made it worse was that Guan Xiaoqi had a feud with her acting partner, Fang Ye, and Fang Ye's acting skills were also mediocre. If Guan Xiaoqi could perform well opposite her, that would be a miracle. Finally, Guo Qixing couldn't take it anymore and shouted, click, exhaustedly saying, take a break for 10 minutes, no, 20 minutes. Guan Xiaoqi, adjust your state properly. Ningxi pondered, 20 minutes. For Guan Xiaoqi, it actually had no effect. Continuing in this pattern, Guan Xiaoqi would keep NGING until the end. Guo Qixing must have been aware of this too. Ningxi glanced in Guo Qixing's direction and indeed saw him sneak off to make a phone call, probably seeking help. Munching on melon seeds, Xiao Tao commented, Director Guo probably wants our company to send someone else, but it's impossible. Guan Xiaoqi has a deep background, she can't be replaced. Sure enough, in less than five minutes, Guo Qixing came out with a black face, indicating that his plea for help had failed. Guo Qixing walked straight to Ning Shi and apologized, Ning Shi, they delayed a bit. You might have to wait a little longer. Ning Shi smiled and replied casually, it's okay, director. You're busy, don't worry about me. While Ning Shi was talking with the director, a quarrel had broken out between Guan Xiaoqi and Fang Ye. Fang Ye, gloating, was bad-mouthing to people nearby, ha ha ha, it's so funny. Certain people told me initially that their acting skills were top-notch, but their level is like this? 
Guan Xiaoqi remained silent, her face stern. Seeing that Guan Xiaoqi had fallen silent after being hit where it hurt, Fang Ye became even more smug, having money doesn't change anything. With your acting skills, even if you have a mountain of gold and silver at home, you can't throw them to produce anything. What a waste. Guan Xiaoqi, who wasn't patient to begin with, couldn't take it anymore, I'm willing to waste as I please. Who are you to care? Someone like you, does your family even have money to waste? Sour grapes. Your envy has turned your eyes red. Look at your poor face. You, you, you. Fang Ye was almost infuriated to the point of spitting blood. At the same time, Guan Xiaoqi's words not only angered Fang Ye but also implicated all the other actors on the set with ordinary backgrounds. It was truly a well-crafted hate speech. But it wasn't surprising. A young lady who had been spoiled since childhood wouldn't be able to endure such humiliation and wouldn't consider others' feelings. Seeing the situation getting worse, Gu Qixing rushed over to mediate, looking harried. Xiao Tao, indignant, said on the side, Oh my, Guan Xiaoqi's words are too infuriating. No wonder everyone dislikes her. Ning Shi didn't express any opinions. She patted Xiao Tao on the shoulder, saying, I'm going to the restroom. Sure. By the way, says she, do you want anything to eat? I can buy it for you. It looks like you'll have to wait for quite a while. Ning Shi waved her hand, no need, thanks. Buy something you like for yourself. After leaving the restroom, Ning Shi was on her way back when she suddenly caught sight of someone squatting not far away under the roots of a tree. Guan Xiaoqi? What was she doing there? Ning Shi stood there with suspicion, observing for a while. Guan Xiaoqi was holding the script, repeatedly muttering lines, looking extremely focused. It was entirely different from the arrogant and conceited demeanor she had shown in front of everyone. Ning Shi stood there watching for quite a while. Guan Xiaoqi completely failed to notice anyone nearby, repeating her practice over and over again. Twenty minutes passed quickly. Ning Shi returned to the resting area. The filming of Guan Xiaoqi and Fang Ye continued, and the results were almost unquestionably disastrous. Ning Shi calmly walked over to the director, who looked like he wanted to bash his head against the camera. Director, I need to discuss something with you. Gui Qixing wearily turned his head, Oh, Ning Shi, what's the matter? Tell me. Ning Shi thought for a moment and then made a request, Director, I have something urgent to attend to later. I really can't wait any longer. Can you adjust the scenes where I have confrontations with Guan Xiaoqi to be shot earlier? Gua Qixing hesitated at her words, Well, Ning Shi, you've seen Guan Xiaoqi's acting. The scenes where you interact with her are even more challenging. It's okay, Director. Let's give it a try. Maybe she's just stuck on this plot, and changing it might help, Ning Shi reassured. How is that possible? Gua Qixing sighed, shaking his head, forget it, forget it. Her acting is the same no matter what. Do as you suggested. If it doesn't work this time, you don't have to continue wasting time with her. Go and deal with your matters first. Ning Shi hurriedly thanked him, thank you, director. Gua Qixing coughed lightly, interrupting Guan Xiaoqi's mechanical lines, Guan Xiaoqi, pause for a moment. Fang Ye, you can take a break for now. Ning Shi has something urgent, so we'll shoot her scenes first. Fang Ye's eyes lit up at the news, sure, I have no objections. However, upon hearing the director's words, Guan Xiaoqi's entire body stiffened. Her hands, clenched into fists, lay motionless by her side. Of course, Fang Ye had no objections. When she returned to the rest area, she was excitedly telling the people around her, ha ha ha, Guan Xiaoqi is doomed. Do you know what scene she and Ning Shi are going to shoot next? Uh, could it be, the scene where Jia Qingqing and Jiet over 30 times? Exactly. That one. Oh my god. Guan Xiaoqi is really in trouble. At this moment, Guan Xiaoqi's two assistants, 11 and 12, were anxiously running around. Miss, shall I go and talk to the director and Ning Shi? This scene is too difficult for you. Yeah, back then, when Jia Qingqing was acting opposite Ning Shi, they NG ed from start to finish. Shut up. No one is allowed to say that I can't do it. Not a word. Especially about this scene. Am I worse than Jia Qingqing? The two assistant girls exchanged glances, feeling helpless. If only she had half of Jia Qingqing's ability, they would have laughed themselves awake from this dream. Ah, this Ning Shi, how can she do this? We're from the same company. Why is she like this? Can't she wait a bit longer? She knows how difficult this scene is. The same company means nothing. We barely have any relationship with her. Our young miss has offended almost everyone in the company. In the entertainment industry, everyone sweeps their own doorstep, 
who cares about others frost on the roof. After a while, preparations for the next scene were ready. Ningxi and Guan Xiaoqi took their positions. Ningxi sat in a luxurious wooden chair, while Guan Xiaoqi lay on the ground in a sorry state. Looking at Ningxi's condescending gaze, a trace of humiliation appeared on Guan Xiaoqi's face. This time, Gu Qixing couldn't be bothered to give any pre-shooting guidance. He simply waved his hand and said, let's begin. Setting, The Cold Palace. Characters, Meng Changa, Virtuous Consort. In the dilapidated palace, on a spacious chair, Ningxi's eyes were filled with disdain and scorn, while Guan Xiaoqi wore an expression of anger and humiliation. Seeing this, Gu Qixing raised his eyebrow slightly. Huh? What's with Guan Xiaoqi's expression? Not bad. Then, Ningxi, as if looking at a dead person, stared at her, virtuous consort, do you know why this palace hates you so much? Why do I have to place you in a desperate situation? After Ningxi finished her lines, Gu Qixing pinched his brow, prepared for Guan Xiaoqi's inevitable NG. The cameraman absent-mindedly played with his equipment. The other onlookers, including the crew members and actors, couldn't stand Guan Xiaoqi's usually arrogant and domineering attitude. So, everyone was eagerly anticipating a good show. Wretch. You're jealous of me. Jealous that the emperor favors me. Jealous that I am favored. Guan Xiaoqi angrily recited her lines, her eye sockets even slightly reddening. Damn it. Fang Ye, and everyone else, all of them were jealous of her, jealous of her. As soon as Guan Xiaoqi finished her lines, everyone present was momentarily stunned. Huh? She actually accurately recited her lines without any mistakes, and her expression and tone were also very good. Luck. After finishing her lines, even Guan Xiaoqi herself was momentarily dumbfounded. But before she could lose focus, Ningxi immediately recited the next lines, He, is this palace jealous? Jealous of you gaining the favor of that old fool? Following Ningxi's words, Guan Xiaoqi naturally continued with the next part of the script. She looked incredulous, imperial concubine, are you, are you crazy? I will inform the emperor. I will tell the emperor you insulted. Ningxi immediately silenced Guan Xiaoqi with a sharp look and continued with a sinister tone, noble consort, do you know who this palace is? Do you still remember, the name Meng Changa? At this point, everyone watching held their breath. The atmosphere on set was tense to the extreme, with people whispering in disbelief. How did Guan Xiaoqi get such incredible luck? She hasn't ng yet? Isn't it amazing? She hasn't ng yet even now. Unbelievable. What kind of luck is this? Under Ningxi's chilling gaze, Guan Xiaoqi's face showed shock and fear, You are Meng Changa? How could you be Meng Changa? Meng Changa is clearly dead. This is impossible. Impossible. Ningxi approached abruptly, Zhao Wanru. If you don't die, how can I dare to die? Even if I die, I will crawl out of hell. Dragging you, we will die together. Ah, don't come. Don't come. Guan Xiaoqi screamed in extreme terror. Zhang Rui, director, director. Click. We got it. Finally, it was the assistant director who reminded, and the director snapped back to reality, quickly shouting, click. This scene. Actually passed. In one take. At the moment Gu Qixing shouted, click, everyone didn't react. After a while, there was an intense discussion on set. Oh my god. Has the sun risen from the west? Guan Xiaoqi actually passed. And it's a one-take pass. It's too incredible. What kind of sorcery is this? Fang Ye's face turned ashen. She was the first to protest, how is this possible? Director, how could you let her pass? She, her acting just now was not good at all. The expressions and movements were too exaggerated. Gu Qixing impatiently glanced at Fang Ye, Xiaoqi doesn't have a professional background like you guys. It's already good enough for her to perform like this. After speaking, he looked at Fang Ye with some dissatisfaction, when you act opposite Xiaoxi later, put more effort into it. If you get into the scene, she can get into the scene, understand? Director, it's clearly her. Fang Ye was so angry that she almost spit blood. Is it her fault that Guan Xiaoqi's acting is bad? At this point, the attitude of the others around began to change. The director makes sense. I thought it was all Xiaoqi's problem at first, but now I think Fang Ye also has issues. Absolutely. Why did Guan Xiaoqi pass the scene with Ning Shi? Although Guan Xiaoqi's acting is bad, Fang Ye's acting is also terrible. She has been criticizing others while being no better. After this scene, Guan Xiaoqi practically floated back to the rest area. Her two assistants, one fanning her and the other bringing water, greeted her without joy. 
Miss, miss, you were amazing just now. Yes, it was incredible to pass in one go. You performed so well. Guan Xiaoqi tilted her chin, looking proud. I told you earlier that there was nothing wrong with my acting. I just couldn't perform because I found Fanya's face disgusting. Do you believe me now? We believe, we believe. Miss, you're the best. It's all that Fanya's fault. Ningxi glanced in Guan Xiaoqi's direction, then walked over to Gu Qixing, director, how was this scene? Any issues? No issues, no issues. Very good. Gu Qixing's face was beaming. Ningxi paused for a moment, then seemingly casually said, director, I think Guan Xiaoqi's current state is pretty good. Shooting the next scene immediately might yield better results, don't you think? Hmm, you make sense. I'll have them start the next scene immediately. Oh, by the way, if you have urgent matters, go attend to them. Gui Qixing nodded. All right, thank you, director. Ningxi nodded and left. Xiao Tao followed Ningxi with a puzzled expression, says she, what's up with Guan Xiaoqi? She actually passed in one go. Must be just good luck, right? Ningxi replied, probably. I know. Sis she, do you have urgent matters? Do you need my help? No need, you can go off work now. Okay, thanks, sis she. Xiao Tao happily ran off, thinking she would have to work overtime today, but unexpectedly, she could leave early. Ning Shi removed her makeup and changed her clothes, walking along the corridor towards the hotel. At this moment, a hand suddenly reached out from the side and hooked her shoulder. TSK TSK, Ning Xiaosi, not bad. A hero saving a beauty? Ning Shi threw off Jiang Muyue's hand, patted her shoulder as if there were no dust, and said, What's the matter? Do you have an issue? Jiang Muyue, indifferent, hooked his claws over again, Aren't you usually indifferent to others' business? Why did you help that annoying woman? Guan Xiaoqi, this time? Ning Shi touched her chin, Guan Xiaoqi helped me once before. I just returned the favor. I don't like going favors. Besides, regardless of her personality or character, it's clear she truly enjoys acting. She had a good impression of those who genuinely loved and were passionate about acting. Jiang Liyue looked speechless, you're really compassionate. What do I care if I'm compassionate or not? Ning Shi gave him a white look. Didn't you say you didn't have scenes today? Why are you here on set?